beautiful, sunny, lazy Sunday morning. I was at a friend's house who lived by the river. And there wasn't a cloud in the sky. There was a smooth breeze in the air. The birds were singing. And we decided, what a beautiful morning, to go out on the pontoon boat up the river. He went out and he started the engine, cranked it up, a couple of times. The engine sputtered. <laughs> Smoke came bellowing out. And this went on for quite some time until finally he got the engine running smooth. I got all excited. I ran and went and got some bottles of water, a towel, and a sunscreen. <laughs> and with a little bit of hesitation, made sure that we had paddles on the boat. So off we went on the boat, on the pontoon boat down the river, down the canal. As we were approaching the St. John's River, the captain says, well, it's a busy day out. We should take this tributary to the St. John's River because there'll be less boats and less traffic and it's more enjoyable. So we made a sharp left and we went down the tributary and there was no one on the river. No one. But it was a beautiful day. And as we puttered along, the engine running smoothly, we saw some beautiful wildflowers in the distance, purple and pink and blue. They looked like hibiscus. So we approached the river bank to take a closer look. And as we approached the river bank, the engine started sputtering. <laughs> the captain backs up the engine. We back up and all this water splashing out of the the, the back of the engine. As you might or might not know, engines require water for cooling. And because we had approached the river bank, it was very muddy, and the engine took on some mud. So he was trying very hard to get rid of all that mud in the engine. So after a little bit of sputtering, we continued down the river. Still, there was nobody on the river. As we moseyed on down, I noticed in the distance a boat, another pontoon boat, that was tied up kind of suspiciously behind some bushes by a tree. And as we came by closer, I noticed that the man on the boat had camouflage clothing on him. He had his shirt off, and he was sitting with his, hand, with his leg propped up, smoking a cigar. Next to him were dog cages, and the boat was all camouflaged. Aha! Hunter, that guy. And as we went by, he waved, we waved. And a little further down the river, the captain decides it's time to turn the boat around and go home. By then, you see, we were already two or three miles away from the dock where we had started. As we turn the boat around, the engine starts. <laughs> Yeah. Vibiating, the captain.
captain decides, well, let's just kind of drift over there because we were there. As we tied the boat next to him, he, we realized that he's a hunter. He jumps over to help us clean the engine out. And I proceed to ask him about the hunting. He says, we're hunting for hogs. I said, how do you hunt for hogs? He says, we have dogs that go down and chase the hog and they tie him up and they, they clamp down on his teeth and then the hunters come and then they hog tie him and his legs and his feet and then we drag him back and once we drag him back, we eviscerate him. <laughs> we cut open his guts and let it all out. <laughs> so as we were waiting, protracting, waiting for the engine to cool off, all of a sudden, I see a hog running by. Next thing I hear is the sound of the dogs. Woof, 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 woof. And the hunter jumps off and says, Pig suey, pig suey. <laughs> time to go after those pigs. Well, right about then, we decided it was time to get out. But we were up the creek with a paddle and no engine. So as we pondered what to do, I sang every song that driver knew. Row, row, gently <laughs> down the stream. Merrily, 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 merry life is but a dream. And a few other ones. So <laughs> eventually we did get another boater, luckily, come by and give us a tow back. But what started out to be a beautiful, Sunday quiet morning turned out to be quite an adventure on the creek with a paddle. <laughs> so remember your camp songs and remember to wear sunscreen. <laughs> Thank you ladies and gentlemen.